Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you Corymbia citriodora um, or Eucalyptus citriodora. Um, but before that, let me just show you some really cool Eucalyptus globulus in my background. Look at the trunk. It's so, it's so neat, it's so tall, it's so beautiful, and it has colors on them, and they're so smooth. And just look at that. It's it's so elegant. Um, yeah. Well, going back to um, the topic of today. Sorry if it wasn't obvious. I love Eucalyptus globulus. Well, I also love Corymbia citriodora. So Corymbia is one of the genera that belongs to this collective term eucalypts. So Eucalyptus eucalypts has you know usually includes Engulfera, which has about 12 species, I think. But don't quote me on the numbers. And Corymbia, which has about a hundred or so species, and Eucalyptus has about you know, several hundred, seven, eight hundred species or subspecies, depending on what you count, what you don't count. Um, but they're really highly um, they're highly uh, related, and they all have this similar structure of their flowers and their buds and their fruits. One difference is that in Corymbia. Um, usually they have this more considered primitive feature um, or early diverging if you want to be very technical and serious about it feature of compound inflorescence meaning that um, if you recall the flower buds in eucalyptus globulus are just one single flower per leaf axis and in Corymbia most of them are a compound uh, inflorescence meaning that there are branches within branches of this inflorescence. Um, of course, it depends on the species. Some are more compound than the others. Some compound branches occur at the leaf axis, while others are more terminal. But the other feature of Corymbia is that their leaves are usually, they have much denser veins than eucalyptus, and their veins, especially the side veins that are, you know, branching off of the midrib, are highly parallel to each other and they're very dense like a feather um, the word is pinnate I think um, yeah and a lot of the Corymbia species are native to the drier or hotter areas of Australia like the northern parts or the more inland areas um, but this one in front of me that you call the citriodora or Corymbia citriodora is native to I believe the coastal part of Queensland and extending maybe down to New South Wales um, but I'm not entirely sure it has two subspecies or again depending on who you ask uh, one of them might be considered its own species um, but one distinctive feature of Eucalyptus citriodora as you might be able to tell from its name it has this citrus scent to its leaves which gives it a, the common name lemon scented gum the Citrus scent is really really strong and it's not that uncommon in nature, but it's sort of uncommon in eucalypts. I believe um, maybe there's one other species, I think it was an iron bark or a box, um, eucalyptus stagiriana, something like that, has citrus, um, sorry, has lemon scented leaves. But Corymbia citriodora, like citri, citrus, odora, odor. Um, is the most most widely planted and well-known um, lemon scented eucalyptus here is a sort of a young specimen this tree can get really tall in its native habitat i believe to maybe 50 meters or so and it's a really slender tree it doesn't get that thick um, but it gets really tall and really nice and sometimes in the especially when it's a little bit humid and breezy and sunny you can smell the citr like the citronella maybe it's citronella I don't know like the lemon scented scent in the air um, and the other feature of this one is the bark um, it sheds its bark annually so the trunk is really smooth and I believe it's about to shed its bark now too um, but yeah, look at this beautiful smooth trunk it's just so uniform and so beautiful um, I think this is the most appreciated feature of this one together with the scent of the leaf 
Um, it grows quite fast. Again, you know, several feet per year, no problem. And it likes it warm. It's not the most cold hardy one, but I've also seen people posting online and surviving in the northern part or central part of Florida. So, it's no, always, it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Um, it has a ligna tuber, meaning that it will sprout back if it cuts um, all the way back to the ground. Um, yeah, and I don't know if you can see the flowers higher up, like more towards there. Uh, the lighting may not work in my favor, or the ones over there. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really see a lot of them reaching full size in the in Northern California, but there are lots of them in Southern California. And again, this is Eucalyptus citriodora, lemon scented gum. Look at the beautiful slender trunk. Oh, I can sort of smell it now, now the wind is coming. Oh well, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, and uh, yeah, see you next time.